What do you do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up! FTC, the strongest, is finally August. The last day of August, man. What we doing for September, FTC brothers and sisters? Remember, I think last year we didn't even have an intro or catchphrase for September because we couldn't come up with one. It doesn't have to be forced. We can always give it a month break, but if we can't come up with one, that's the most liked after today. I don't know. But, man, with that being said, we got more NBA shit K22 news. I love waking up to this. Now, as promised, I told you guys yesterday, man, I'm mostly in the house most of the day. The apartment, to be more specific, because... Remember, never cheat yourself, everybody, because you're cheating yourself at the end of the day. Quote of the day. All right. So um, they said that they were going to release, like, uh, mechanics and depth gameplay info. I had a lot of people, a shitload of people uh, tag me, actually, um, when I, as I was waking up. That apparently, like, 2K just felt like stealing Flight Reactor's lingo and just, you know, his crispy ideas. Apparently, what I know um, before hopping into the video, that they have, like, some new Menace badge or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah, y'all run you y'all wonder why I just like am not signing nothing to 2K. They want you they want you to sign so they can strip you of all your ideas and all your hard work and give you chump change and throw you back off on the street. You know what I'm saying? That's all these corporate companies do, bro. And it's just sad that I just you know other people don't see through that. But anyway, man, we got the man, the legend. Chris Moon is waiting on uh He's going to be giving us the breakdown of details. We got new badges, dunk meter, shooting, and dribbling. Hey, man, 2K comes out within a week, two weeks. You know what I'm saying? The EP drops September 10th. You know what I'm saying? We got new heat out right now. Go check it out. Got check, man. Hey, man, 2022 our year, man. We don't let the action speak for itself. Vlog for NBA 2K22. First, let's go over the new badges. There's a bunch of them. Fast Twitch. The ability to get off the floor quicker for standing layups and dunks. Grace under pressure. Mm, I like that right there. You hear that? Get off the floor, bunch of them. Fast twitch. The ability to get off the floor quicker for standing layups and dunks. Y'all part niggas is in trouble, bro. Because, like, if he's saying that fast twitch is, like, getting off the ground quicker when it comes to layups, like, that's literally, like, my entire game. If you peep me in the part, me, Mario, Snaggy, you know what I'm saying, Jay, and all the rest, shout out my rest of the uh, FTC squad teammates. Like, we literally run a pick and roll type of an offense and pop out and shoot, bro. And most of the time, if you see me on the screen, if somebody's guarding Mario too quick in the corner, I'm going to take the layup or dunk. And the fact that I can get off the ground quicker, like, y'all going to be in trouble. I think, bro, honestly, like, this is going to be the most dominant park runs that I've ever had. Like, I expect my record to be, like, I'm aiming for, like, a 3,000 or 5,000 win record and only, like, I want less than 50 losses. 2K21, I didn't really count. That was like the only year in 2K I didn't count my park record because the game was just so bad. It was just clearly a lot of like lag outs and just glitches and everything like that. But now with the matchmaking in there, we can just go right into the lobby, bro. I really am. This is probably going to be the most seriously taking record that I have when it comes to 2K. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro. Like, I'm so I'm praying that the Rages don't be as extremely higher than what it was back in like 2019 and everything like that. But just know that I'm really taking my record a lot more serious this year because, you know what I'm saying, of the fact of just what we have now with the game. Grace under pressure. Ability to convert standing layups more effectively. Limitless takeoff. That's definitely Snaggy Mo's badge. Ability to thing. soar from further away on driving dunk attempts. Okay. Mouse in the house. Ability for bigs to finish over shorter players more efficiently. Oh, snaggy mode badge right there. Unstrippable. Ability to secure the ball better when gathering for a layup dunk in traffic. Nice. Chef. Ability to knock down Steph like off dribble deep three. Ooh, that's my type of badge. That's my type of badge. That's my type of badge. Logo reacts. Limitless spot up. Ability to hit logo range threes off a catch and shoot. That is cheese. They need to take that out the game. They. It's one thing to have the chef badge where you can just have that option to have, you know what I'm saying, deep threes here and there. But, bro, I'm not going to be playing park, bro. And niggas just going to be taking three dribbles and pulling up half court and greening threes, nigga. Like, that's going to be an issue. Logo range threes off a limitless spot up. Ability to hit logo range threes off a catch and shoot. Nah, bro, that's even worse. You can literally, ma, you can literally like act like you in the regular offense and then just pop out half court like you cherry picking for defense. And then you get a catch and shoot three? 
Nah, man. They, 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 I hope that thing ain't that badge ain't OP. That's legal. I'm gonna be using it. Don't get the fuck. I'm gonna be using that badge. I already know the top two badges. I, the three badges I like is the fast twitch badge, the chef badge, and that limitless. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Logo right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely making my player probably around the same height that I am in real life, 6'3", because I also did peep uh, before, you know, as because, you know, people tag me and stuff, that the shorter that you make your my player this year, the faster the drill moves are going to be. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to make my player like 5'2", though. Lucky number seven, boost your ability to score when shooting early in the clock. Mm. Mismatch expert, ability to successfully shoot over taller defenders on a switch. Whoa. Mm. Glue hand. Ability to make difficult catches and quicker branch out to a shot or dribble. Mm. Okay, that, I like that right there because sometimes, you know, when you toss the ball like full court to a teammate or something, they always be like stumbling and jumbling like they're trying to catch a football or something. Like, or at least that eliminates Boost that. the speed and effectiveness of moving dribble moves. Quick chain. Boost the ability to quickly chain dribble moves together. Post playmaker. Boost the effectiveness of both shots and moves when playing in the post. Triple threat juke increases the effectiveness of triple threat fakes, jabs, and go moves. Wow. Ball stripper. Ability to strip layup and dunk a whoa, 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 pause? That's the badge name? Ability to strip layup and jabs and go moves. Ball stripper. What? Ability Ronald, what do y'all got going on in the office? You can call it something else in that. Ability to strip layup and dunk attempts more effectively. Hustler, ability to get those scrappy 50-50 balls quicker than opponents. Menace, significantly drops the offensive ratings of opponents when you smother them. Fam, like, 2K, I appreciate y'all stealing the lingo, bro. Like, it's nice that, you know what I'm saying? I'm an influence like that, bro. Like, it's cool. Like, just, <laughs> you can put, like, thanks to flight or something, you know, but. 2K22 has 80 total badges now. 80? Then 2K talks about a next-gen exclusive called Takeover Perks. Mm. These are modifiers that you can unlock and equip to strengthen your existing takeover abilities. So it's next-gen exclusive. So right then and there, they, 2K just gave you a reason why you should be on next gen. You know what I'm saying? They gave you an exclusive extra. To post that add another layer of strategy to how you compete online. The builder has been improved so that it's easier to see how many badges you've earned, what badges you're unlocking, what the attribute caps are, what the thresholds are, what the cost of each tier is. Another major change to <laughs> gameplay is in finishing. They're adding a timing meter to alley-oops and aggressive dunks. When an alley-oop pass is in the air, you're gonna have to press the shot button at just the right time to finish off the oop. Yeah. If you're too early or late, you'll either smoke the finish or miss the catch completely. They did that last year. Yeah. And then they're saying that this year, you can force the bounce pass alley-oop this year. There's gonna be a button or something that lets you do that. What? The dunking... No, there isn't, no way pass alley-oop this year they're saying that this year you can force the bounce pass alley-oop this year there's gonna be a button or something that lets you do that oh that's hard bro bro you can do nba street bro bounce pass alley-oops bro it's over on the part bro hey man anybody that's been doubting me bro keep that same energy bro i cannot wait for 2k22 like i said the game is bad mid or good bro we're capitalizing off this man 2k21 is late i told you it's just regardless even the game was just shit. It was just, I feel like 21 was just more of like a break here when it came to 2K. It was just so bad. It was unbearable. On the daunting side, you know, like, using sprint and pulling straight down on a pro stick will trigger the aggressive skill dunks. When okay. you have a defender standing been underneath that the rim, using the aggressive skill dunk feature will let you basically force a dunk attempt on demand as long as you have a stronger dunker and you have a bit of runway. It's tough to hit the perfect timing for these high risk high reward plays but it's so gratifying when you pull it off really so let me know what you think about adding timing to dunking jump shooting has a new meter it's going to dynamically resize the make window depending on if you're taking a quality shot or if you're taking a bad shot so good shots the meter will be a little bit bigger 
bad shots is gonna shrink when you're heavily contested. Or if you're shooting with a low rated shooter, or if you're tired. I'm gonna call a cat on that. We're gonna have to wait and see, but we know they have badges in the game that help you when you're tired to score. And we know that if the game comes out and people are having trouble shooting, 2K is going to cave to the complainers. They do it every year. They boost the shooting every year. So I'm calling cap until I see a full year go by where they don't do that. They're so going to we'll boost the shooting, bro. With the shooting. Ronald is sounds on drugs. Great. Mike Wayne is a lost cause. They like, they're going to boost the shooting. When it comes to dribbling, they have 50 unique signature size up packages Ooh. to choose from. And they also have 32 unique dribble sequences, which... They're calling signature combos. Then they talk about the speed with ball rating. They're saying that last year, taller players could outpace shorter players with the same speed with ball. But this year they resolved that issue so that the smaller players are no longer lagging behind. Then 2K is also talking about defense, how they changed the pick and roll schemes, the hedges, the AI. Just like the jump shooting though, Every year when people complain about the defense, they're gonna tone the defense back. So I'm just gonna call cap on all that. Let's see if they actually have good defense at the start of the game and if they keep it throughout the entire game. But this is a very long vlog, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Yeah, so it was getting out of long, but so you don't bro. miss anything, but there's a summary of some of the most important aspects of the gameplay changes. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Are you excited? For NBA 2K22. Who's excited for 2K22? Hey, man, at this point, man, what system or generation y'all picking? Next gen or current gen, bro? Y'all got the info, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like 2K is going to be better than last year, which is improvement. <laughs> which is, yeah. As usual, man, come on over to next, man. Roto4Man, man.